What's up guys, we're back here at Atlas Empires and we are going over the brand new unit that just got released and it is on the live server as well, but we're currently on the, the test server showing you this so we can speed up things and just plow these things down and not care about the time. So level one, they start off at level one here, 33 HP, 13 damage per second, so a very small amount of HP, very small damage per second. They cost 50 gold and they take 30 seconds to recruit uh, two housing spaces. So that's a very good thing. So you can actually have a whole bunch of these guys and not really, uh, you know, worry about train time because it's kind of low. 30 seconds is pretty good. Housing spaces is kind of small on that two there. Uh, I would personally love it to be a one because really what this troop is, is a flying archer. But it serves a purpose of distracting the barrel rocket from the dragons. So that's the main purpose of this unit. So let's go jump into the battle here, show you what we got to do. We got three dragons, and we got 36 of these flying cannon shooting things. Uh, cannoneers, I believe they're called. Uh, yeah, uh, don't, don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, you're going to want to drop them, and you're going to want to focus on the anti-air section. So in this battle here, what we would do is we would go drop them all right down, and then we would drop our dragons right behind, and then we would just... Keep dropping more cannoneers, and those would now soak up all of the damage from the barrel rocket right there. And then eventually, the dragons would go in there and kill that anti-air. So the dragons are doing their thing. Cannoneers have taken things down. So the cannoneers, they can actually do some damage to when you clump them up like this. Uh, there was, a, what, 36 that we dropped down? So just together, the ones in the bottom right there, you can see they've done some damage. They just blow things up. They are going to die, though, because they have such low HP. But this is only level one, guys. So when you actually get higher level troops, you can see a lot more HP, a lot more resistance to these arrow towers, these turrets. And you have a nice new viable strategy here of just using all air troops to demolish bases. Dragons are pretty slow, but we do only have a 120 troop capacity in this right here. You can see all the ones in the top there, they ended up dying to the dragons. This was a very, very weak base as well, so it goes to show you that we may not even be able to clear a, a weak base at 100% with this kind of a strategy. But it definitely can get you some loot if you're willing to invest in these guys. We'll try and level them up here in this uh, test server and show you what their stats look like as they leveled up. Don't know how many of these guys we're going to be able to find. But look, so we lost 24 of those in this battle. Which is a lot, but again, they are level 1 guys, so let's recruit these guys back up. And even to recruit 24 of them, it only takes 12 minutes, so it's not that long of a wait time to actually do. We didn't use any spells last time, but of course you'd want to use spells to keep these guys alive. So in a base like this, there's a couple of different anti-airs. Uh, you probably would just want to focus on taking down one of the anti-airs. And then retreating once you've killed the Great Hall. So what we'd probably do here is we would probably put them all over here on this side. And then as soon as they start to trigger the barrel rocket. We can go ahead and drop down the dragons down there. Uh, and same thing, we can also freeze, utilizing the freeze spell to knock out that barrel rocket there for a few seconds is going to be a very, very powerful strategy. And even though the barrel rocket then did lock on to the dragons in that situation, it's okay. You can see that dragon survived, still got about 50% HP. Cannoneers are doing some pretty good damage up there. And again, they're level 1, so they're very, very weak right now. 
And all we would want to do is we'd want to get out of here once we kill this Great Hall. And we would get out of here and we would save some of those guys. So a lot better. 30,000 gold, 13 cannoneers lost. Let's go try and upgrade these guys. So we're going to use some card dealers. So after dropping down nine card dealers and buying 15 cards at each of these card dealers, we only got three of these cannoneers. So these guys are quite rare. And unfortunately, we cannot upgrade them much. We can only get to level 2, and we can show off those stats right there. But yes, these will be really rare to actually get, it looks like. Again, we bought almost over... We bought over 100 cards, uh, very close to 150 cards. We bought 135 cards. And yep, that's level 2 stats, and this is what it's going to look like going up to level 3. So it's going to be quite difficult to level up, unfortunately. Looks like they have the stat growth is very similar to the archers. Uh, on the other side, we can actually upgrade our dragon. We got some some more cards to upgrade a dragon to level 6 here. So you can see what levels we're using here. Level 6 dragon and now level 2 cannoneers. And we're going to go jump into battle for these guys. Need to train some more of them up. I do like how they are a fairly fast train. 30 seconds is a nice nice and easy train time, and that's only with two barracks. When you have three barracks, that will go down. So if you have three barracks unlocked at Great Hall level 14, your train time should decrease slightly, probably to that 20-second marker, I'd guess. All right, so over here, again, we just want to focus on the anti-airs. Clear those out. There's two. We would go ahead and drop down... Some right there, and then drop down the dragons. And I think I think we'd want to save a couple for over in this section. Yeah, so it's much nicer. So like they're not getting one shotted by these turrets anymore. That's definitely a nice thing. Of course, a higher level turret will be able to one-shot them still. But as long as they can survive and they just they act as a distraction to the dragon is is the key of these units. And again, you just want to freeze up the anti-air stuff. Let them get in. And literally at this point, we've cleared the Great Hall. We could probably get out of here and save these guys. But I just want to show off the new unit here. Simply a great, great dis distraction unit. And there might be some very sneaky sniping opportunities uh, if people put mortars out in locations where you're like all by themselves. So like over here, this would probably be able to get attacked by these flying cannoneer units and might be out of the range of this anti-air if we placed it over by that mortar. So definitely new units open up more possibilities, more different gameplay, which is always welcome. Let me know, you guys, in the comment section, what do you think of this new unit? Are you excited? Are you going to try and train this unit up? Let me know in the comment section what you're thinking on this. I will talk to you guys later, and good luck. The corn event is ending very, very soon. We've got just a few hours left on that, so hopefully you can get into that top 100 and earn some uh, free money by collecting those corns.